what is going on everyone it is Gary and today we guys a really really fast and quick and easy tutorial to help you guys put your branding to the next step so in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about putting on these branding guidelines on your logos and your design work to make it seem like the extra kind of um cool little professional style that you guys can see in Behance work and dribble posts and stuff like that and it's actually really easy to do and I'm guilty of not really knowing how to do it for a longest time I just actually just recently stumbled across you know exactly how to do it just messing around settings strokes and stuff like that on Illustrator now don't get me wrong you can do this on Photoshop which is the old way I used to do it however doing everything through Illustrator when you're making your logos is just that much easier and I think that everyone should do it so going right into this, you guys are going to need to have a logo you guys want to mess with. Now the logo I'm going to be using has only these um, straight lines on it. If you guys do have circles on your logos, then um, we'll be going over basically how to do that as well. But this is basically going to be going over my logos and how I did it. Now if you guys can go over my website, you guys can see that I did it for basically most of my work. For my Klimfit logo, if I go back and I go through my Obsession Gaming logo. You guys can see that I did it also on the bottom of this, which I did do the circle kind of representation, which is a lot easier to do. And it's basically the same genre and the same thing. So we'll be going over that as well. So when you get into Photoshop, or excuse me, when you get into Illustrator, the first thing you want to do is just basically post your logo in here and center it. So if you highlight it, go to your Pathfinder, and then go to your Align. You guys can basically just make sure that everything is aligned and centered in this. If you guys do not have this tool onto your thing, you guys can go to Window, you guys can go to Align, and then it'll basically pop up on your screen somewhere, or it'll be in the top-hand section of your toolbar. So what you want to do really quickly is actually just lock the layer because you don't want to start adding stuff on top of it. And um, the reason behind that is because when we start doing these um, pen tool marks above it that you're going to be, you know, writing across it and you don't want to accidentally click on it and mess with all the lining and the logo and just a bunch of messy stuff that you don't want to do. But with that being said, you can either leave the logo being black, you know, you'd have to unhide it or unlock it, excuse me, if you want to change it to a different color, just click on it, go to fill. You guys can put it to a gray or something like that. That's what I typically like doing. It just seems like a less saturated and a less opacity logo. You guys can see the lines over up top a lot easier. So really quickly, how do we do this? So you're gonna grab your pen tool and I'm telling you guys, it's gonna be mind blowing. You're gonna click the pen tool and uh, you can basically just click right here and just drag all the way down. So you have that ruler, click on the bottom of your screen, hold shift, make a straight line up right there. Hit the little, selection tool or click via in your keyboard and um, click on the stroke one more time go over here to your appearance and your stroke just put it to like two or three or four just so you can see it on your screen you don't need to know that it's there the whole entire time and then you guys can go to window and then you guys can scroll all the way down to stroke or hit control f10 this will pop up and there's going to be a little menu right here called dashed line basically just click that and you guys can choose how many dashes you want. So if you want 200 dashes, that uh, it'll make very various 200 dashes. If you want 200 points, make them a lot skinnier. Typically 12 to 15 is like usually the good range. I think I use 12 on all my work, which is just the basic um, the default points. So you can do that. You can click your arrowheads and basically change how that wants. You can also change the uniform of it, align stroke, corners, caps, weight, etc. Don't touch that. If you want to change how big they are, just highlight the stroke again and hit um, the stroke right here and change the points right here. So you can put it to four or five. So now that you have that, the next thing you want to do is figure out how to, you know, basically put it to next point to next point. Really quickly, you just highlight it, hit control F, excuse me, hit control C and then control F. Click on it holding shift and drag it so it's on the edge of the other part of the logo and hit it control C control F and you're basically going to do this for the whole entire logo and just hit control C control F and it gets kind of boring and kind of stupid to do over and over again and if you don't have any more of course you don't have to do it but then again if you want to just change it so you want to have the um, horizontal hit control C control F and then you basically just rotate it holding shift and then the little rotate tool and then put it over there. And then we're gonna bring this up, slow and steady, line it up, control C, control F, bring it down. And you guys can see that it's really, really, really easy. And I know a lot of people can see these in portfolios and they get a little confused on how everything's done, but this is just the basic way that I do it. And it's probably the most easiest that you can just do that. 
Now, with the kind of tools that we have going on over here with these angles, not every time those things are gonna be on a 45 or 60, 90 degree angle. So just make a new layer, and then you basically can just click on it, and it's the same thing, just basically make it, make a little pen tool mark, and it should just copy your dashed lines over, and then you can basically do that stroke line, and then drag it to the bottom, and then finish it off like that. And then you're gonna zoom in one more time, go to a part that you have to do, and once again, Control C, Control F, and just basically just keep tapping along right here. Now, this is the way that I do it. I know there's a lot of other ways to do it. Some people can download little files off of Photoshop and off of Google that had the dashed lines already pre-done for you. All you have to do is drag them. However, I think it's kind of you know fun to do this and kind of fun to show out the um, the actual breakdowns of the logos and stuff like that. But um, really quickly. I do want to talk about some things while I am finishing this up. I want to apologize on the lack of uploads on my channel. I've been having a lot of personal things going on with my life, so I've been really busy with that kind of stuff. However, I am really happy to show you guys um, some more tutorials, my top five, and I hope to be doing my podcast one more time. Just because, um, you know, they're really fun to do, actually, and it's really fun to talk about certain things. So if you guys do want to see anything specific on my podcast, let me know in the comment section below. I'm really up for, you know, anything. You know, even if it's just life stories, I like to keep it designing wise, but if you guys want to hear, you know, life stories, you guys want to hear, um, things I had to deal with in school about designing, everything like that, then, you know, definitely let me know in the comment section below and I'll be sure to do that. So now that you have that done, basically scroll out and then you want to do a quick little overview and make sure that every single line is covered somewhere. I've had a little a bit of issues just, you know, basically going half assed and then I realized I fucked up and that, um, I forgot some things. Now, if for some reason that you get a little annoyed that these aren't the same height, if you highlight them, you could basically just change them yourself. You just have to drag them out. And I know it gets a little boring to do that over and over again, but it's better than just complaining the whole entire time. Now with these, you, the ones on the angles, you cannot highlight them all and change them all at once just because it's not how it goes because sometimes they're a little bit different. So you just basically have to do it all by hand. For example, if you have these, the um, horizontal ones, you want to change them, you can basically just take this and drag it out to the side. And drag it out to the side. And then you basically have that. Those are to the top. And then you're basically set. So that's basically how you do your whole entire branding guidelines for a logo. Now, if you do have a circle you want to do, you have to grab the ellipse tool and do a circle. And then if you're of course doing still the um, dashed lines, let me hide all this so I can explain it a little bit better. All right. So if you're still doing the dashed lines and you make a big circle, um, the dashed line should cover over, except for there's gonna be a fill on it. So you just have to go to fill and then hit the little one with the uh, line through it to make it none. And that's basically already done for you. Now, if you have logos that have them, for example, let's say you have that, you can basically hit Control C, Control F, and just shrink it down, holding Control and Alt, and it basically shrinks it down in place, and you guys can put it wherever you like. And that's basically how you do it. Now, it's not too hard, it's not too easy. It does take a lot of time, and it is time consuming. However, I do respect you guys. You're going to be doing this for your logos and stuff like that, and for your branding. So it's definitely worth the um, the hassle of doing it. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about this, please let me know in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to try to answer that as fast as possible. Look at this. A little cool logo I made. But um, really quickly, that's really about it. If you guys want to join my Discord, there's going to be a link in the description for it. That's going to be just plain and simple. Just designers being all designer friendly and stuff like that. And that's going to be basically it. You guys can join that if you guys want. It'll be a lot of fun. It'll be, you know, just hanging out with a bunch of people. Other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my later on videos. Peace out.